Okay, so the Reavers, uh, which Lacey had a, already set up really well, but I'm gonna set up again, are a, 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 a race of alien monsters that live in the outreaches of space that are so terrifying that every single human being basically shuts down at the mere mention of them, right? Their name is like Voldemort. They pretty, you pretty much don't wanna hear their name because if you hear their name, you're Right, in the in the show Firefly and in the movie Serenity, they kill people in order to not let them be gotten by the. It's preferable to die than for the Reavers to get you because they rape you, they kill you, they slaughter you, they skin you alive, they eat parts of you, and you're still alive. And then they beat you up some more, and then they rape you some more, and they rape you to death, and you're still going, and then finally you die, right? And and then they they take your skin off and they make clothes out of them, and it's it's horrible, right? So. Maybe the argument could be that the Reavers aren't really monsters, except that Joss Whedon has been quoted as saying that even in space, that you needed a monster. Every story needs a monster. So he created the Reavers specifically to be the monsters of space. They are the monsters of space. Second of all, they deform themselves. They're so f***ed up. So the Pinhead and the Cenobites, they exist in a universe where what they enjoy is like hedonistic pain pleasure. So everything that they're possibly gonna do to the Reavers, the Reavers are gonna like it. They're gonna be like, cut me, rape me, beat me, do it. And then they're gonna eat them. Second of all, the Reavers are so mad with anger that they're never gonna figure out the puzzle box. They're probably gonna just throw the puzzle box out into space or melt it or use it to kill other people. They'll use the pinhead box to rape other people instead of ever actually opening it and letting them out in the first place. So, and then Pinhead and the Cenobites can't get into this time space. Uh, oh. <laughs> I should have called it when you made that horrible motion. Yeah. <laughs> well, Michael, you did a great job. The Reavers are totally terrifying. I agree with everything that he said, mostly. Uh, and uh, I agree with space monsters. They're totally terrible. The raping, the skinning, it's all true. The thing about the Cenobites are, is they're pretty much like the worst thing in the entire universe, okay? Basically, if you can like unlock them from this box, they rule this hell dimension, where essentially they just torture you forever, just for fun, just because they think you want them to torture them. And they're pretty, pretty insidious. And not only that, but they're pretty unstoppable. I mean, really the only way that you can stop, um, you know, Pinhead and the Cenobites is essentially by, you know, being able to close the box, or if you don't have access to the box, I mean, one of the movies, they had to literally build like a giant space box, like with lasers in order to contain them and blow them up. So they're pretty much completely unkillable, except for the Leviathan, which is the god that created them. So unless you're the Leviathan, it's pretty hard to defeat these guys. I agree that, you know, overall, the um, the Reavers are very angry, but they are intelligent. They they still were human at one point. Uh, they have been able to come up with, you know, uh, setting up traps for people. They still have space travel. So they're intelligent enough that they could figure out the box either way if they wanted to, uh, so they could open it. But at the end of the day, I just think that the Cenobites are by far the most insidious because no matter what the um, Reavers do to you, no matter if they, like, rape you, no no matter if they skin you alive, sooner or later your torment's gonna end. I mean, the worst possible scenario is either it lasts for a long time you die or you become a reaver yourself. With Pinhead and Cenobites, it's eternity. Like, you're tortured forever. Like, that's why Frank had to get out. He knew that this would last forever. He freaked out, and there's no way that I can last through this. So, as horrible as the Reavers are, still, death sooner or later is much better than torment for eternity. Okay, so first of all, even if they figured out how to open the box, oftentimes, when the Cenobites are depicted, they already have a target that they've set out for some most of the time, and they wouldn't even set out to get the Reavers because, again, the Reavers are just going to enjoy everything they're going to do to them, so that kind of defeats the purpose. Second of all, once if they if they were to let them out, and if they're intelligent to let them out, then they're intelligent enough to put them back in the box. Um, whereas the Reavers will just keep multiplying; they'll just keep making you other human beings into Reavers. So sure, maybe if they get you into hell your torture will go on forever, but that's only if they get you into hell. Whereas the readers you have to deal with in the real world. <laughs> this is a very, very tough one to decide. On the one hand, the torture by the Reavers is worse, but it ends eventually. The torture by Cenobites and by Pinhead 
is perhaps not to the extreme. I mean, it sounded like an entire catalog of horrible things that happen to you before you die. And uh, judging between the two of them, it's such a, it's like a very close election. But uh, I think I'm going to have to go with Pinhead and the Cenobites. Oh! So, uh, my, you know, with taking nothing away from the Reavers. Not that I would want to be in bed with either group of monsters. <laughs> they never win. Thank you. All right, so Pinhead and the Cinnabites moving on to the semifinals, taking down the Reavers with their chains and their hooks and their craziness. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. Check out the links in the description. Come back for the rest of Monster Madness and more Cinefix.